Hello, my name is Lauren Briggs and I will be reviewing the book Jesus and His Enemies, Narrative Conflict in the Four Gospels, written by Robert R. Beck who, in 2017, who was a Catholic priest and a professor of religious studies. This book was published by Orbis Books. This book focuses on conflict and conflict resolution within the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Each gospel tells the same story of Jesus from different people facing different challenges based on their social status and location. Robert's book really dives into the details within each and focuses on violence and resolution. The first narrative is introduced through the perspective of Mark. In addition to the traditional aspect for devotional purposes, Beck concludes that the story of Mark gives a purpose for Jesus' mission. On page 32 in the book, the text shows that Jesus has a nonviolent response to conflict by revealing an identity of a non-royal people's Messiah. In contrast, Beck explains that Matthew, how Matthew's story focuses more on Jesus' genealogy. Um, on page 81 in the book, it shows Jesus' royalty as son of David, superior to King Herod. Additionally, Luke's contribution is mentioned as a significant portion of the New Testament, Luke through Acts. Luke tells the story of Jesus of Nazareth, focusing on showing Gentiles a pathway into the story of Judaism. Beck points out on page 123 how Luke complements Mark and Matthew's stories by using a heavily edited version, such as with Mark's examples, and shifts the attention of conflict from the practice of Jews to a discussion of the theory behind it. Finally, Beck clearly says in chapter 5 that the difference between John's Gospel and the others is it begins in a different place, uses different language, and different order of events, and contributes a study story of the word about way of the tabernacle, tabernacle. John's story shows a resolution of not only victory over death, but victory over injustice and violence. In conclusion, by examining the narratives from the four Gospels, the author assumes that the readers will find what we need to make our own Gospel responses to conflicts confronting us today. However, I would prefer to do a close read of the Bible before reading such a book by making such conclusions or defining terms on a more basic or literal level. Uh, in other words, I would only suggest this book to people who have already closely studied the Bible and would like to expand on that knowledge in detail. I hope this video provides insight to Robert Beck's overall message and give some details of the book, Jesus and His Enemies. Thank you for your time.